Well, welcome to our St. Gabriel's Worship from Home for this week. It is great to welcome you from wherever you are joining us. And if you uh, are joining us, please uh, like, subscribe, comment on our worship so we know you're there so we can pray for you and if you have any prayer requests please put them in the chat or um or on the comments or send them in as well we'll have songs we'll have bible readings and we will have prayers if you want to know about all the things going on in the life of St. Gabriel's please um subscribe to our newsletter this so we are going to pray and then we are going to sing worship songs together so let us pray heavenly father we thank you that we can give our whole hearts our minds to you now we thank you that because of our love you have le- of you we have led ourselves to worship you in this time and so lord we pray that your holy spirit will come and fall upon us wherever we are as we come to worship you now. Amen. Amen. So let us sing our first worship song together and praise God this moment. We sing together. To bring him praise Come all and tune your hearts To sing to the morning star of grace From the shifting shadows of the earth We will lift our eyes to him Where steady arms of mercy reach To gather children Those weeping through the night Come those who tell our battles won And those struggling in the fight For His birthday love will never change And His mercies never cease But follow us through all our days With the certain Christ rejoice. 
And so we take a moment to confess those words, uh, confess those things that have separated us from love's, God's love this week. And together we say, Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy upon us. Bring us back to yourselves as those who were once dead but now have life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And because God loved us first, may you know that you are forgiven through the death of his Son, Jesus Christ, to live in the power of the Holy Spirit now and always. Amen. through the scriptures and through reflections. So we have our Bible reading and then we will reflect. A reading from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds he went up the mountain and after he sat down his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So having opened up the scriptures, let us pray as we commit these next few moments to God. Thank you, Lord, for the fresh revelations from your scriptures. And we pray that you will open our hearts and minds to whatever you wish to speak to us this morning. Amen. Her name was Vera. And she used to say good morning to me and all the other young people as she walked into church each week. His name was Bruce. He encouraged me and kept me faithful to the scriptures when I was a young youth worker. Just two of the saints that walked through my life with me. I can tell you names of many other people who were prayer warriors, who were faithful to the scriptures, who encouraged me and kept me going through hard and difficult times. Not only did they encourage me, but they focused, helped me focus on the gospel and helped me focus on my Christian walk with Christ. And those people And there are countless in my life, those who I have once known, who have come in to a period of my life for a while and then moved on. Those who have gone to be with the Lord now and those who are still living. And there are those who are keeping me focused still and walking alongside me in that way. I wonder who are the saints for you? Who are your saints? We know and we read of the many different saints who are recognised in our church's culture for many different reasons. For what they did and how they acted to others. In a, a few weeks we will be exploring the idea of Saint Nicholas, the one who gave uh, uh, presents to the poor and gave money to the poor. But there are many different saints, known saints, and those saints who are just known to us, just those who encourage us. It is All Saints Day, a day where we celebrate those saints who have gone before us. A day that actually we reflect on death in some ways, because we reflect on those people who have gone past 
but those who have stood up for a Christian, for the Christian message and stood up for Jesus. But we come into our Gospel of Matthew and as many of you will know we have been exploring and reflecting on the Gospel of Matthew over the past few months. And what's a real relief is today's Gospel reading gives us something different to focus on. Something different from the Kingdom of God. For the last three or four weeks we have been exploring what the Kingdom of God is as Jesus has been speaking about in parables about the Kingdom of God. And today we are rewinding back to virtue where we started our journey through the Gospel of Matthew. We started just at the end of the Sermon on the Mount and today we're starting at the be- uh, at, in the middle of that on a focus of the passage of the Beatitudes where Jesus stood up and said blessed are those. Well actually he didn't stand up. I don't know if you picked up in the reading he went up to a mountain to say these words and this is Matthew if you remember back to our introduction to the Gospel of Matthew. This is Matthew reminding the reader that Jesus is coming afresh to interpret the kingdom of God and what he's doing is he is aligning Jesus going up to the mountain as Moses who brought out the first law went up to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments and brought them down and uh, and they were the first law that the kingdom of Israel lived under and now Jesus is going up the mountain to bring a fresh a new law and as a teacher of authority did in Jesus' times, they didn't regularly stand up, they sat down to teach. And here we read the, um, the Beatitudes, blessed are the meek in spirit, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are those, blessed are those, blessed are those, for they will inherit the kingdom of God. I don't know if you know, but another uh, interpretation of the word blessed is wonderful news. Wonderful news for the poor in spirit. Wonderful news for those who mourn. Wonderful news for those who seek justice. Wonderful news for those who are persecuted because of Christ. The Beatitudes go against our entire culture at the moment because our culture at the moment is blessed are those who are rich because more will be given. Blessed are those who don't care about their sins because they can live a a happy life. Blessed are those who have everything and all the food they need because they don't need to worry about others. But our Beatitudes that we read, the Beatitudes that Jesus taught us, tells us that there is a different way of life and a different way of living. Last week we talked about what it means to be part of the Kingdom of God and the need to live a different life and to respond to being invited into God's Kingdom. And I said that when we're invited into God's kingdom, it changes the way we live our lives and who we are and what we do. And so now we go back and reflect upon what it means to live in that way. To be poor in spirit, to be meek, to stand up for injustices. And it seems really weird at the end, blessed are those who are persecuted in my name. Why would we be blessed if we're being persecuted? Well actually, because that means that we're doing something right. We're standing up for injustice. We're pointing out where people are not living in an appropriate way. But along with standing up in those ways for injustice, Along comes the persecution. Those trolls on Twitter, those people who say, actually, you shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing this, or we shouldn't be doing that. And what that is, when Jesus was saying, blessed are those who are persecuted, he was saying that those 
are, who are standing up for injustice will be put upon. And those who seek to live a different life will stand out. And because we stand out and do things differently, we come to attention of others and some people won't like those things. And all through history we read of the saints who were the ones who stood out and stood up for injustice. Who stood out because of their love and passion for their faith in Christ. For those who stood up for that. Who stood out for it. Who told others about it. And lived a life that was blessed by God. So on this All Saints Day, we come to a time where we remember those saints who have been key in our life and to live an example in a way that they have set. But also, our Bible reading calls us into a new way of life, in a new way of reflecting on what it means to live a life for Christ and in Christ and because of Christ. An uncomfortable life that at times will make us stand out. At times will make us be the person who is persecuted or is told to live a life in a different way because we don't follow societal norms. But that's what it is to be part of the kingdom of heaven. To live a life that is blessed. Because when we live in a way of the Beatitudes, in the blessed sayings, those blessed sayings that Jesus said, they become wonderful news for us because we have wonderful news that we will live with Christ forever when we come to the end of our lives. So who are the saints in your life who pointed you to the Christian faith and helped you to live in that way and help you to live in that way that makes you stand out because of the gospel and in what ways in your life do you need to reflect on the blessed statements the beatitudes to turn them into wonderful news for you because we have that wonderful news of Christ to give and to share and to become a saint to others as we do that and to point them in the way of Christ and to live the way of Christ. But also we have to recognise that we have to live in that way to be a way to show the way to others. So what statement in our Bible reading this morning stood out for you that means that you've got to readjust your life to turn it into wonderful news rather than difficult news. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your son Jesus who points a way for us to live a blessed life, to have wonderful news of what he did for us on the cross and resurrection and we pray that we can share that wonderful news with others we thank you for the saints who have gone before us and thank you for the saints who have been key in our lives and we pray that we will be a saint to others give us strength when we are persecuted give us strength when we are end of our tether so that we will know that your kingdom is close we ask this through your son our lord jesus christ's name Amen. Amen. Well, we have reflected on the scriptures and those powerful words take us in to a moment of praise. And we are going to praise God through song now. Jesus bled and died for me. I see his wounds, his hands, his feet. My Savior on that cursed tree. His body bowed and drenched in tears. They lay 
we know that we are loved by God and we love ourselves, let us declare our faith that we have in Christ. We say together, though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing. Taking the form of a slave, he was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God raised him on high and gave him the name above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to take a moment of prayer now, having declared our faith, having reflected on the scriptures and having sung. So let us pray together.
And we conclude our time of prayer by saying the words that Jesus taught us and praying. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Amen indeed. Well, we're coming towards the end of our service in a moment. We are going to sing our final song. But don't forget, you can donate to St. Gabriel's um, and fill the mission and ministry of our church at any time through the link online. And as I've said before, there's lots going on in the life of St. Gabriel's online and on site. And you can subscribe to our newsletter to find out more about that. Scan the QR code or just click on the link. But as we go into this week, may you know that the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit is upon you and will remain with you now and always. Amen. Let us sing to God now with our final hymn of praise.